Let's kick start this edition with some news just coming in. Well, former Congress leader Milan Deora meets Shinde. We're expecting Milan Deora to formally join the Shinde faction of the Shiva Sena. India today was the first, remember, to report that Milan Deora is joining the Shinde faction of the Shiva Sena. We're getting in details of this formal announcement that is to be made, expected anytime soon. Now, Milan Deora, the son of late veteran Congress leader, Murli Deora, is all set to join the Congress, uh, join the Shiv Sena, leave the Congress and join the Shiv Sena. 55-year-old relationship with the party is coming to an end, is what is now being said. Former Congress leader, now meeting Eknath Shinde. That's the development that we're reporting on right now. Details of Milan Deora. Son of late veteran leader of the Congress party, Murli Deora, has now decided to join the Eknath Shinde faction of the Shiv Sena. Saurav Akhtania is getting us more details on that story. Saurav, as far as optics of this is concerned, terrible again for the Congress party, given that the Deora family has been associated with the Congress for years together now. But electorally, what is the damage, kind of damage that one can expect from this, this one act of uh, Mr. Milan Dura here? Well, Sneha, just uh, one line is that the change in ideology, like you said, that the Devra family is associated with the Congress party for over 55 years. Mm -hmm. Milan Devra's father, Murli Devra, was Mumbai Congress president for 25 years. He was petroleum minister, he was two-time minister and what not. And later on, I must tell you that Milan Devra was the youngest M uh, MP from South Mumbai seat in 2004 and in 2009, he won with a record margin of over 1,10,000 votes. Now, what happened after this is that the mood in the mood the way in 2014 and 2019 Milind Devra uh, lost the election to uh, that time undivided Shiv Sena's uh, Arvind Savan. Now what happened later on is that Milind Devra wanted a ticket for Rajya Sabha but at that time it was given to Kumar Ketkar and then Imran Pratap Gahi. Later on uh, Milind Devra in 2020 had planned to quit Congress but as he was from the Rahul Gandhi scam it was Rahul Gandhi himself convinced uh, Milind Devra to stay in Congress. Now there were a lot of internal rifts in Congress as well and several of the Congress leaders allegedly used to blame Milind Devra that he never used to come out of his home, he used to never be on road protesting in the Congress uh, uh, campaign. So there were a lot of allegations but then it was India Today who broke the news that Milind Devra is going to leave Congress party and yesterday we broke the news and today Milind Devra confirmed it by putting it on platform X. Now what the sources are telling us uh, Sneha that initially Milind Devra wanted to join Joined BJP, but that didn't go well. And later on, it was Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde's son, Shrikant Shinde, who was in touch with Milind Devra. There were several off-record meetings which took place, and finally, Milind De Devra decided to join the Shiv Sena party. And just look at the visuals right now. I'll ask my camera person to show you the visuals from here. Here is the stage is set. Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde is at a program in Dindoshi. He, we are expecting him that he will be arriving over here in 15 to 20 minutes. And the stage is written Paksha Pravesh Sri Milind Devra Maji Kendriya Manti. Means he is the former union minister. The pictures of Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde and Milind Devra. So from, from, from 15 to 20 minutes from now, we are expecting that Maharashtra Chief Minister Eknath Shinde will be coming over here. And in presence of uh, Eknath Shinde, Milind Jo Devra will be joining the Shiv Sena party. Two important things over here. Once Milind Devra joins the uh, Shiv Sena, it is sure that from Mahayuti it will be Milind Devra who might contest election on the South Mumbai Lok Sabha seat. Otherwise, he might also get a chance for the Rajya Sabha ticket in the coming June of this year. All right, be with us. I'm just going to come back to you for more details on that. Saurav Bhaktania joining us live from Mumbai city. And getting you details of Milind Dira's next move, all set to join uh, the Shiv Sena, the Eknath uh, Shinde faction of the Shiv Sena. Like uh, we've been talking about, uh, you know, in that sense, for the Dura family, Saurav, this is a big change from the Congress to the Shiv Sena. Uh, you did talk about the fact that Milind Dura has not been very happy with the, the scheme of things in the Congress party for a while now, no? but he's also not... 
you know, shown any prowess in terms of, uh, you know, emerging a winner in electoral politics. And that is something that the Congress would be looking at as well, isn't it? Well, absolutely, Sneha, rightly pointed out uh, by you. Like, mm -hmm. I must say that after 2009, it was the second term he won the election. And in 2014, after the Modi wave, uh, he won, he, he lost the election twice. And uh, he, he lost to Arvind Savan of Undivided Shiv Sena. Now, what the Mahavikas Agadi and especially the Uddhav Thakre Sena was saying that... Uh, there, Arvind Savan only should contest the seat from the South Mumbai uh, Lok Sabha seat. Now, Milin Deva, somewhere down the line, was missing in action. Uh, like I told you, that there are several Congress leaders. Some of them, uh, Sneha, I must tell you, that they were openly criticizing Milin Deva, who was missing in action. Because there were, in between several of the protests which were happening, several of the campaigns which were happening, but Milin Deva was not part of those protests or campaigns. So there were voices which were been raised in within the Congress party itself that why Milindevra is not stepping out of his house. Now, one thing is here. Second thing, it's a do or die situation. A Milindevra person who is losing election for past two uh, terms, which is over 10 years, he's missing in action. So for him, it's like a do or die situation. So desperately wanted to contest election, desperately wants to get a Rajya Sabha seat. So the bargaining for, for the Mahavika Sagadi or within the Congress was not going well uh, because this was for a very long time for over two to three weeks uh, we were hearing that any time Milindevra might be leaving Congress party and this has happened today it's the India Today news break which is confirmed and it will be very interesting to sneeze uh, Sneha but uh, the only thing is that the BJP also wants to uh, their candidate to fight from the South Mumbai Lok Sabha seat okay so whether Milindevra after entering the Shiv Sena party gets the South Mumbai Lok Sabha seats or he gets the ticket for the Rajya Sabha. That, so that remains to be to seen. Notice. It's a big question mark there. Remains to be seen how his political career, uh, you know, pans out after him joining the Shinde faction of the Shiv Sena. In the state of Maharashtra, Congress suffering a setback just before Lok Sabha elections. Milan Deora, associated with the Congress party for years together. His father, Mulli Deora, also was the 55-year-old association has ended today. He's taken to Twitter. Uh, X essentially and announced that he has resigned from the Congress, bringing an end to his family's association with the Congress. He is going to be joining the Eknath Shinde faction of uh, the Shiv Sena. Listen into a series of reactions that have been coming in.